Hey guys, Kate, I'm going to try something new today. I have my new camera set up so I can see myself in the square, which is so nice. And wait for it. Okay, cool. It's self adjusting, which is amazing. So as I play with this and get used to this, bear with me because it's going to be new. <laughs> But I'm really excited. I am sharing today a makeup routine, something like, honestly, this is what I do every single day when I just need a quick and easy makeup look. And then I thought it would be really fun to kind of show you what additional steps you can take for this simple makeup look to like transform it into something that you could wear for evening or when you want to be a little bit more dressed up. So I'm really excited about this and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so for foundation, lately I've really only been wearing two. I have the Make Sense foundation and I wear the shade Ivory and then I also have the Hourglass stick foundation and then I wear the shade Porcelain. Porcelain. <laughs> so just for being fast, I'm going to do this one. Um, I really like this one for coverage and I didn't think about this but I don't have a mirror, so I'm like literally only seeing what I can see in the square. <laughs> so hopefully I got it where it needs to go. Um, but I love this foundation because it's so easy to apply and it blends in so nice too. So then I'm just using my Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush in the F86. And I have also the Morphe M439. Um, the Sigma brush that I have is a tapered kabuki, and then the Sigma is more of a just flat top. Um, lately, I've been using the Sigma one. I just really like the way it's been working with my foundation lately, so that's the one I'm using today. But I love both brushes. So I'm just kind of stippling this into my skin. Not really like rubbing hard, but just kind of fast little presses all over. And you guys, I am not a makeup expert at all. Like, I actually, the faster my makeup can get done, like, the more I like it. I don't like to spend a lot of time on my makeup. <laughs> I just like to get it over with. Like, I think makeup's really pretty, and I think you can have a lot of fun with it, but it's just not my thing. Like, I would rather spend more time picking out my outfit <laughs> than than doing my makeup. So I am all about fast, which is what I'm excited to show you guys today. Okay, so without a mirror, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I got pretty good coverage. Next is eyes, and I'm going to be using this Morphe palette. Um, okay, the name of this palette is Bronzed Mocha 25B. This is one that I've been talking about since, I think before Thanksgiving um, is when I got it. And I've been using it like crazy. It's seriously so beautiful. I don't know if it'll focus on this. Um, it just has the prettiest like browns and burgundies and shimmers and that's just what I like. I like to use neutrals. Um, so I'm going to be going in with the color Seek, which is kind of just a light brown color. It's this second one on the second level. And then just doing that over my whole lid. And the brush I'm using is by Sigma as well. Um, the name got rubbed off of it, but it's just a little, I don't know. I don't know if you can see it that good. It's just a little tapered blending brush. It's awesome. So I'm sweeping this just mostly across my lid all over. Okay. 
and I'll be real with you guys, this brush I haven't washed in a little bit, so it may have some other color like still on the brush, so it might have got mixed in with what I had going on, so it might be a little bit darker than if you were to just go in with a clean brush, um, but the basic idea is there that it's just a basic brown across your entire lid. And you guys, on a day-to-day -day basis, like, that's all I do. <laughs> I just pick like a neutral brown eyeshadow and I just do one one color across my whole lid. It's so easy. Okay, the next for brows, I have this little thing by Benefit. It's the Cabrow. And I just use the little brush that it comes with. And I use the shade 3. I have pretty dark eyebrows to begin with. I just use it for a little bit more like shaping and kind of filling in. And then just with a little spoolie, I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows. Okay, and then just for a little de definition on my face, this is by Senegents. Let me see. I'm trying to be like those cool YouTubers that hold a product up and like it comes in focus, but like, there we go. <laughs> okay. So it's this bronzer, um, it just has a built-in brush. I really like it because it's just easy to apply. And then I just sweep a little bit of it along like my cheek area and a small bit on my forehead. And then I just take a big fluffy brush. This one's by Morphe, it's the E3. And I just sweep it across my forehead and like my cheek area and then call it good <laughs> and then I add mascara and this one is by L'Oreal it is the voluminous in the curved brush which is my absolute favorite let me see I can open it up for you guys. That curved brush just makes the world a difference. I love it so much. And then I'll usually just throw on like a simple, oops, got mascara on my hand. Um, then I just throw on a simple lip color. It is seriously so, so simple. And um, now I'm gonna show you what you can do for additional steps to take this to a nighttime look. So keep watching if you want to see the transition of what I do to create a more date night appropriate look or if you just like day-to-day -day makeup, you can sign off right now. But I'm grateful you guys watched. All right, hey guys. So I went and grabbed a mirror <laughs> so I could actually see what I'm doing for this next part of my tutorial. And I'm like, dang, I did a pretty good job <laughs> I'm not using a mirror in my last one. So I'm going in with the exact same palette, the Morphe, what is it, 25B, <laughs> and um, to make this a little more date night appropriate, I'm just going to kind of smoke up my eyes a little bit. Let me see if I can come a little bit closer to get you kind of a better view. Alright, so one of the colors I've really been loving lately is called double and then there's another one um space there are these two here at the bottom they're kind of like these brownie red shades i love this red shade as well um i like to pop that in every once in a while um but what i do is take like a tiny little pencil brush this is by sigma the e30 and i'm gonna go in with this shade space because it's a more true chocolate brown and 
I'm gonna grab my mirror here. If you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna like lightly press this against the base of my eye. It's really so subtle, like I'm not, like I said, a huge makeup person, so I really don't know all the tips and tricks. But this is just something that I've been doing lately that I really like. And I'm going to add a little bit more to this side. Okay, and once you've kind of packed that along the base of your eyelids, then I want you to take that first little fluffy brush that we used with our original um, brown color and just kind of sweep it back and forth. And I didn't dip it in any other product. I'm just trying to edge out any harsh lines that may have caused or started. Okay. Then I'm going to be using a eye shading brush. This one's by Sigma the E55. And I'm going to take any of the shimmer shades that are in this palette. And then with that shimmer, just put that along that inner corner. I'm really hoping you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I just thought about that. back with the little pencil brush. This time I'm going to go in with that original brown that we used, which was the shade Seek. Get that right on your brush. And you're going to take it under your eye, just along your lash line. I usually only come like either halfway or almost all the way, but leave that inner corner bare. I don't know why my mouth has to hang open. Does anybody else <laughs> feel like that happens to them? You're just like, ah. <laughs> I just did it again. Okay, now I can I just added a little bit more smokiness, a little bit more something to the eye, which I really like. Okay. Next, so typically if you do a really dark smoky eye, you try to keep your lips neutral. Uh, or when you're doing a really bold lip color, keep your eyes a little bit more subtle. Well, because this is kind of like an in-between, like it's smoky, but it's not like terribly smoky. Really, you could do a variety of lip colors. You could go as nude as you want or as like colorful as you want. Um, some colors that I've been wearing lately, this little one by ColourPop. These are the lippy sticks. This one is in the shade juice bar. Let's see. It's this one right here. It's a little bit of like a raspberry color. I love the consistency of these because it feels like a chapstick. And then the other color I've been using a lot is, let me see, this one by Victoria's Secret. It's the Velvet Matte and this is in the color Tease. This one's a definitely a thicker formula and this color is quite deep, 
but if you've seen my Instagram lately, I'm usually wearing one of these three colors, and I absolutely love it. So, for the video, I'm just going to wear the shade by ColourPop, because it's like the in-between. It's like not too nude, but it's not too dark. And it's just so pretty and it just feels so good on my lips um something I did not do in this video is blush if you want to add blush do it we didn't set our original face with powders so you can go in with a cream or a powder blush um, some of my favorite blushes are actually by Senegents. Um, two of the colors that I wear a lot are toasted rose it's not going to probably pop up, but Toasted Rose and then Pouty Pink. Um, these two are really pretty, and these go, like, a little bit goes a long way, which is awesome. You just use the tiniest bit, and then I can, like, literally, like, a pin drop size does blush for both my cheeks. It's amazing. So these I love. Um, I don't know why I haven't really been into blush lately. Maybe I should try it, but I haven't. Um, but I'm going to do my mascara off camera and then I'll show you the finished look. All right, hey, so I just went and finished the mascara and I love this look. Honestly, I told you guys this is something I do literally every day and then I do this kind of a smoky eye with some shimmer like for church or you could wear it for date night or just if you want to feel a little bit more glammed up than just like one eyeshadow color. This is such a go-to look for me. I can't even tell you how much I wear this. It's like any day I do my makeup, I'm probably wearing this makeup look. <laughs> and then it's so easy because you can just switch out the lip color and wear something really nude, really bold, really whatever your style is, which is so great. And with the colors in the palette being so warm and neutral, you could wear a purple, a plum, a, you know, really pale peach. You could wear a bright hot pink and it's really not going to matter because it's going to go with the look. Um, but I... Ah, I don't know. I want to get into doing videos more. So if you have any requests, let me know. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too crazy with the camera. <laughs> trying to finish. I'm trying to figure out the adjusting and everything that way. But honestly, I can. I'm probably annoying because I'm not looking at here and I'm looking over here. <laughs> but um, I'm just really impressed with it so far. This was my first time using my new camera with filming, and so, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Okay, and if you don't follow my blog, it's stripesandbloom.com, and then my Instagram is at Jensen Jepsen. I would love it if you wanted to follow me there. I talk so much more about fashion, and I share daily deals on my Insta stories, and show you guys a lot of me with no makeup on. <laughs> You'll see peaks of my kids and my home. Um, I'm starting to get into doing more home decor posts. And so if you have requests for ideas for posts or something you're interested in seeing, I have so much planned out for the next couple of months, but I'm always, always wanting to do, you know, what you're interested in. So if you have anything in mind, um, I'm starting to incorporate more home decor and lifestyle type posts because that has been so highly requested. So I just want to do what you're interested in. Like, of course I'm going to do what I want to do, but there's no point in putting something out there if there's absolutely zero audience for it. So if there's something that you're having a question about or something that you're interested in, let me know. And if it's something that kind of works well with my life and I can incorporate it, then I I would gladly talk about it. So anyways, you guys are awesome and thank you so much for your support.